All right, people, Mick Saladin here again. Welcome back to some more Honor Mode in Baldur's Gate 3. Today, I'm going to fight the gnolls uh, and the people in this cave over here. Uh, you need to take a potion of animal speaking so that you can talk to the main one here, Flind. Um, yeah, I think you have to take that so that you can have this conversation here. Uh, where you hopefully have your mind flare parasite re recharged after a long rest so that you can use the illithid power uh, to use authority on her and command her to attack the rest of the gnolls around here should be a pretty easy check just make sure you've long rested to reset the illithid power and that you haven't used it somewhere else uh, during that uh, day or whatever uh, so then the main one here, Flind or Fland, whatever their name is, they're going to go start attacking their friends over here. And to add a little bit of extra spice to this fight, I'm going to retreat and call in Lump, who I also used against the Githyanki patrol. It's not going to be as useful uh, as it normally would because only Lump survived the encounter with the Githyanki patrol. Uh, so he's going to show up on his own. Uh, I can't seem to find him at the moment. Oh yeah, he spawned inside the cave. So that's not going to be that useful at all really. But to be honest, I want the guys in the cave to go down so I can steal their shipment. And take it back to the uh, Xanthorum underground base myself. Because I want to I wanna give it to the uh, leader down there. And then... Uh, the uh, pickpocketing gloves, the gloves of thievery will appear in the merchant's inventory down there and that's just a really amazing set of gloves to give to Asterian when you combine it with the smuggler's ring and then he can just pickpocket anything he wants basically um, if, as long as you put guidance on him as well and maybe Cat's Grace from Shadowheart uh, I have my other characters hiding nearby. They're going to sneak in, start doing some damage. Karlak is disguised as a Githyanki at the moment. Uh, so she can make use of the big Githyanki sword I took from the Gith patrol. And Liz Liz uh, excuse me, Lizelle's also here and she's dressed as Shadowheart. Just because I gave, Car or I gave her original armor to Karlak. Uh, so she is more survivability. And I needed some armor for Lizelle, so I just gave her Shadow Hearts because Shadow Heart doesn't need to be in this fight really. Um, and they've both got two pretty decent swords. Carlax got the big Gith Yankee Great Sword, and uh, Lizelle has the Wound Deepener, or whatever it's called, which you can get at uh, the Burning Inn, uh, Joaquin's Rest, or whatever. You can come out, you can cast Command Drop on one of the soldiers there. And they'll drop that really good sword that uh, does extra damage to an enemy that's already wounded. So have Karlak hit people first with big Gith Yankee sword while disguised as a Gith Yankee so she can do plus four psychic damage. And then have Lizelle hit them with the wound deepener or whatever that sword's called. And it's going to be a pretty good combo. Fortunately they're both getting hit with acid at the moment. But it's not too bad. Um, Lump, he's not going to really be much use in this fight because he spawned in that cave. He's just going to take out these other two guys for us. Even though we should all be on the same side, Lump doesn't care. He's an ogre. He'll just take out anybody who isn't us. So you have to be careful when you do call him for a fight because if you call him like with some really important story uh, characters nearby, and they are also in the fight. Lump's going to turn on them as well. Because he doesn't care. He'll just take out anybody who's nearby. So you do have to be careful when you call him. But I wanted the two guys in the cave to go down anyway. Because uh, again I want that chest to unlock the inventory down in the Xanthorum cave. Uh, so Asterian can get the gloves of thievery. And then he can steal the chest back for us. Uh, and we can get the flask with the big uh, monster in it. Um, I forget what you call those monsters at the moment. Um, the big one-eyed demon looking things. Uh, there's actually a flask with one of them in it. 
and it's going to be useful to have that flask to throw at enemies so you can spawn in one of those uh, big one-eyed monster enemies. Uh, I've completely blanked on their names at the moment. Uh, but yeah, it's not really relevant to this fight. But yeah, I'm just explaining why I've set things up like this. Also, it doesn't matter if Lump, if he dies in this fight. Because we actually want him to die eventually anyway. So we can get his crown of intelligence. Uh, or the amulet. Or, no, it is a crown. Uh, a crown of intelligence. So that we can survive the Zethisk and the Githyanki crash. Because if you're wearing it, uh, you can pass some intelligence uh, checks. And get a really cool power from surviving the Zethisk. So it's, uh, you really do want to take Lump out eventually. Or even if somebody else takes him out for you. Um, so yeah, these characters, they're still coming for me. It's a real shame actually that Lump did spawn in here. And he's kind of wasting his time with that low level enemy. Instead of helping me out here. But oh well, we'll just have to deal with it. Uh, Flind or Fland, I think they got soul broken or something, so they're really not being much use either. And they're going to turn on us as well during this fight. But oh well, it's still better to start off the fight with them being on our side and uh, trying to take out some enemies at least. And of course, if they're still alive, uh, like uh, Lump will come out of the cave eventually. And start attacking them. So I think Flynn took out that uh, hyena for us. Pretty weak enemy. Wish it had taken out some of these other gnolls. But oh well. We're still doing alright at the moment. Carlac. Uh, I think this is Carlac. Uh, because she's disguised as a gith. I get her confused with the Zell pretty easily. So yeah. She's doing some big serious damage. And I have a Sterian hiding nearby, so if things go really wrong, uh, I can get him to start doing some stealth damage. My main character's still sneaking around over here too, getting in some stealth hits. Come on, get a nice big hit here. I'm a Ranger, uh, Dread Ambusher, Gloom Stalker. Uh, so it's always good uh, for me to be doing stealthy archery attacks and stuff. Uh, that character completely wasted their turn, aiming for Flind or whatever their name is. Uh, oh, that was some bad damage in Karlik. Uh, at least he missed quite a few as well. Lump is still fighting this guy in the cave. It's really unfortunate that he spawned in there. I don't know why that happened. Usually he spawns like next to me, running up the mountain. Uh, so that's really strange. Uh, but oh well, he's going to take that guy down eventually. I can't see Lump losing to that guy. Although it would be pretty funny. And uh, he would have still done enough damage to make it easy to take out that other Zentrum guy. Um, because I, I just want to take the chest for myself again, as I explained. So let's see, I can take out this guy hopefully. Nice. Um... I moved too far in here and can't hide. What an idiot. Oh well, it shouldn't matter too much. Come on, Lump, get rid of that guy already. Uh, we're going to start in on Flynn now. Because uh, even if she was staying on our side, you have to pass another check to get her to devour herself. Which could be easily failed. Lump finally took out that guy. Now he's coming out here uh, to see me. Um... I think he doesn't register Flynn as a threat for some reason. But, oh well, that will change quickly if Flynn started attacking him. I'm pretty sure. I think he wants to negotiate with me for the rest of his money, but I'm still in combat. And Asterion, I had him hiding over here for a reason. So if anything did go wrong, he could start a, sort of sneaking in and doing some stealth damage. Uh, let's see. Come on, big hit Asterion. Come on. Nice. And let's see, Carlac, can you get on a reckless strike or anything? No. Oh, you can though. Oh, mess, unfortunate. Uh, Lazelle's down, but we won't worry about that. Uh, shame that uh, Flynn managed to heal itself a little there. Um, yeah, Lump, for some reason, he hasn't registered Flynn as an enemy. 
guess because we originally had her on our side before she turned on us. Um, I guess it glitched out his AI or something. So this is all a bit strange now, but oh well, at least I don't think I'm in too much trouble here. We should be able to put her down quickly. There we go, now Lump's going to want to negotiate again. And for the third time, I'm going to light him and say, oh, I'll give you like five grand if you fight for me one last time or whatever. And the next time he shows up, he needs to seriously uh, die in the fight. Or I'm going to have to fight him. Because uh, he's not going to put up with any more excuses, I don't think. Um, so, oh, that was so lucky. Guidance, I got a four and managed to pass that check. Make sure you have some inspiration anytime you're going to be interacting with Lump. Because if you fail his check, it is, uh, you know, it is time to fight him. Thankfully, it's just him here now and not his brothers or his friends or whatever. Because they got taken down by the Githyanki patrol. Um, I'm going to bring Lump maybe against uh, one of the Goblin Camp fights later. Uh, moving along to smaller knolls and hyenas. This is another area. I actually fought them before I went to fight Flynn. Uh, but I'm just going to edit it this way. Um, uh, just because I think people want to see the Flynn fight. The most important uh, out of these fights with the knolls. But I'll just uh, throw in these other couple of fights as a little bonus bit. Again, not much to them. Start off with little uh, stealth attacks. Uh, you should probably take out the one that's feeding first. So they can't uh, do that soul numb attack. Uh, I think this Dread Ambusher. Yes, nice. Missed my first shot, but that attack took him out. That was lucky. Then I can just hide again. This is a good little vantage point to fight these guys from because you're sort of slightly uphill so I think it counts as high ground uh, advantage. I've got sharpshooter on both Asterian and my main character at the moment so that should no longer matter that much. Um, but maybe it does so I like to still do my archery from sort of high ground if I can. Uh, again, I'd separated my party so they can all sort of sneak in when I need them to. Um, I think, is this Karlak? Uh, I keep confusing her and Lizelle because I made them swap armor and disguised uh, Karlak as a gith for the bonus uh, damage she can do with her sword. Just going to have her jump in like a big tank, uh, draw some fire, and maybe I'll have Lizelle shoot some arrows from over here. Maybe draw them this way, or I might jump in with her as well. Um, could magic muscle them from here? Better bound my weapon first. And uh, that accidentally triggered combat. Uh, yeah, I should have been expecting that. Oh well, at least that gives them another target to run for. They're still surprised, so that's pretty decent. I put Hunter's Mark on them. I'm always forgetting to put Hunter's Mark on these enemies. It should be a bigger part of my playstyle uh, so that I can do more damage, but I always forget that it's there. Um, I'll run in with Lazelle, uh, jump in, just finish off this guy. Oh, what a miss. Don't want to waste action surge on this just small group. It's not really worth it. Um, so I'll just have uh, Karlak do a hit. Move her up here slightly. Uh, come on, Asteria, and do a big stealth hit. Actually, this is my main character again. Um, I'll go for the Hunter Mark 1. Nice. That was a pretty decent hit. Uh, now, what are they going to do? Run in. I feel Karlak should have got an opportunity attack there. Um, maybe she was too far back. So, that one soul numbed uh, Lizelle, but it's not going to be too much of a problem because. They're pretty wounded and uh, now yeah, Asterian can get a stealth hit and that's that down, uh, hide again, Lazelle's probably going to take another hit here for us, uh, oh no they went for Karlik and I think that was a critical miss and Lazelle can do a big hit now, um, or actually I'll have Karlak do it first because uh, Lazelle has the deepened wounds 
uh, weapon that you can get from Walking's Rest if you make one of the characters over there drop it and yeah that finished them off and there's one last group of hyenas it's a little bit further on from that last fight pretty easy encounter um, so you can take out the ones laying on the ground before they transform um, I think that's what I try to do here uh, nice took that one out um, now the other is going to start transforming unless I get down there quick enough with my other characters uh, I think I can dread ambush one of them. I think this might miss. Um, but yeah, I'm trying to take them out before they can transform into gnolls. Miss, that's unfortunate. And I can do an offhand strike on this hyena. Might as well do that while I'm here. Uh, and I have Karlak and everybody again hiding. Uh, I'm going to use Asterian. He's my other archer. Um, a lot of people probably don't like playing with two archers in their party, but I find it really useful to have Asterian as a rogue and then my main character as a ranger. And the two of you, between you, you can do a lot of serious stealth damage. Uh, and then if you're playing the way I am at the moment, where you have Lazelle and Karlak as your two big tanks, you can overwhelm quite a lot of enemies uh, this way seriously grind down their health in stealth with a ranger and a rogue and then have Lazelle and Karlak just smack them with a big sword um, so we got that guy down and yeah this one's still left I think I'll have to get Lazelle to sneak in so Lazelle's up here uh, and yeah she is that I can't remember the right name for the weapon. I, I just keep call, calling it the Deepen Wounds weapon because that's the ability it has. Um, but it's not going to be much use at the moment because these have full health. What a miss. How did you miss a stationary sort of prone enemy, Lizelle? Um, so they're going to transform now, I think. But it's not going to be too bad because there's only two of them left. Um... So let's see, crouch, get a shot in. Serious stealth damage, nice. Dread ambush arranged. Nice, there we go. And that just leaves this last enemy for us to smack. Oh, come on, Lazil. Again, not going to waste action surge when there's only one enemy left here. Karlak got in a nice hit. Uh, don't need to enrage, I'll just shove this guy. Just bully them at this point. Uh, and then Asterian. Uh, oh, shield. Yeah, we'll just use that. And can I get a final arrow? And there we go. That's all the gnolls in the area. Oh, that missed actually. But uh, yeah, there we go. One big smack. No, he's still not going down. But yeah, really, that's all the gnoll fights. How I like to do them. Uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you again next time with some more Baldur's Gate 3 Honor Mode.